All right, the command panel. The command panel itself is basically a container for a lot of different objects. We start out here at the create panel with geometry and standard primitives. The standard primitives is a collection of pretty basic objects that can be used to create much more complex objects. After that, we have extended primitives. Again, it's a set of objects that allow you to create more complex objects from them. Compound objects, particle systems, patch grids, body objects, doors. Doors, windows, and walls are pretty cool. AEC extended objects, which are things like the walls that I just mentioned. A mental ray, dynamics objects, stairs, a lot of different stuff in there. All right, so shapes have splines, which are some pretty basic, simple, like, line art type objects that allow you to create and extrude other objects from them. NURBS curves will give point curve and CV curve, which are just two different ways, and we'll get into that in a little bit. Two different ways for drawing shapes. And extended splines, which, again, are just multiple other options for how you create simple spline shapes. Photometric lights are based on real-world lighting systems and give very realistic results when used with the mental ray rendering engine. A better thing for us is going to be to start with standard lights so that we get a better understanding of how light functions within the 3ds Max world. Target spots and omnis are where we're going to start in a little while. Cameras, we have target cameras and free cameras and we'll find out a little bit more about what that means in a little bit. A target camera has basically an object off the end of where the camera points to control what direction the camera is facing. Free camera doesn't have that, you just rotate it wherever you want it to go. Helper objects, our standard helper objects, have things like dummy objects and point helpers that we'll be using later on. We also have crowd helpers, containers, grids, tape measures, compasses, protractors, all kinds of different stuff for helping you understand what's going on within your scene. We also have things like atmospheric apparatus, which are great for containing elements like fire and smoke, fog, good stuff like that. The camera match utility we'll be getting into later. Manipulators, particle flow is a really high-end particle system. CAT objects, CAT is a new system in Max for doing character animation. The space warps allow us to have forces, which do things like affect particles with gravity and wind. We can use wind to blow hair and fur around. We can use push to push objects, motors, drag, all kinds of cool stuff. Deflectors allow us to create objects and or use existing objects in your scene as basically collision objects for particle systems. Geometric deformable allows you to use things like a bomb to explode objects or conform to make one object fit against another object. We have FFDs, which are freeform deformers, which allow you to have an envelope system to control the deformation of another object. Modifier-based particles and dynamics. So an exploration of a lot of these different panels is definitely in order to understand a little bit more about what's going on in here. Bones and biped, daylight, sunlight, all cool tools. Modifiers in the modifier list. Since we don't have anything created in our scene right now that's selected, the modifier list won't show anything. But once we have geometry in here, the modifier list has a pretty extensive list of ways that we can adjust, modify, or deform objects. The hierarchy panel allows us to control things like pivots. The motion tab allows us to assign controllers like look at controllers or position constraints to objects. The display panel gives us control over what objects are hidden or frozen. It also allows us to unhide and unfreeze objects on the fly. And the utilities panel um, has things that we'll be getting into later, such as the camera match utility. The more button here shows a lot more potential utilities that you can use within 3ds Max. Some of these we'll be getting into, and some of them you should attempt to explore on your own. All right, that in a nutshell is the command panel.